yeah check my style if you've never questioned if you've thrown out your back at least once during a, a metal detecting hunt or adventure have you actually gone metal detecting so i like to call this mainer tactical or tactical mainer tactical mainer is a better word for it because i left my jacket and everything else that would keep me warm at home but i keep extra stuff in my truck i do not keep matching things in my truck because that would be nice this this tassel thing really goes well with the army fleece anyway i I'm currently at the farm, now owned by Kennebec Valley Community College. We'll see how this goes. Three items, one hole. First hole of the day. That's a good sign. It's a good day. I uh, was looking around. Up there is where the base of the house was. Somebody was a Civil War vet. Uh, same place, uh, Waterville Gary found the button. <sighs> so I finally get to use my, my Rogan tool for so what I intended it for, which was to go metal detecting and dig with, and it's coal. Literally have used this for everything around the house. Everything around the house you can think of. Clean that off a bit when I get home. No idea what it is, but it has a different, like, it has that, that coloring up there. Kind of like a rock, but I don't think it's, I mean, it's metallic, obviously, but I don't, I don't know. That's cool. It has a, like, indented top. So at first I thought it was like a, a car. I don't really know. We'll see. I don't know what that is, but like I stuck my hand down in there and I tried to get it out with my shovel with a smaller hole that I had and uh, it almost spilled my shovel. So I was like, oh my God, I don't know. Or it could be something good. It probably is something good. I don't know what it is. But uh, so I started all the stuff out of my pockets I took my watch off and uh, before I started digging the guy was like I wonder if like if I wasn't here someone came up on this what what would they think and I was like something something's about to happen is what they would think anyway first coin of the day is just a memorial penny's a penny score to spot this place is always always pretty and quiet mostly another memorial that right that is the base of the house and i'll go over there or the foundation and that uh, the barn went out this way i'm pretty sure but anyway. offerings to the detecting gods uh these aren't i didn't find these i don't know if uh Last time Waterville Gary and I were up here, if you found him and put him up here. Or someone was out here and I uh, just left him here. So it's, there's a horseshoe, that's awesome. And these are both, that's super, that's, that's cool. Excuse me, that's cool. And there. So I don't, I don't know, that's, I mean, I'll take them home and uh, clean them up. Turn them into the uh, historical society or something. I don't know. So if I don't stop anywhere else today, which I don't know, we'll see how it goes. I'm running low on batteries. This is what I found so far. Decent find, I would say. I don't these, like I didn't find these. I, well, I found them, but like, like I said, someone put them up there. So I don't know if that was. I don't think that's something I would have left from the last time I was here, like over a year ago, or that something, I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, so that's cool. I found this piece, that was that was interesting, that was a dig. I found this, I'm gonna clean that off. 
probably just a piece to a tool or whatever. This thing, clean that off. I have a bunch to clean off. Some tin, I'm just gonna take out. Nails, and uh, pretty much that's it. We'll see how it goes. I just bought a camera kit for my GoPro. It, camera set, I should say. It is a Dikasi. And I hope I'm saying that right. And it's it's an off shoot of GoPro gear. And uh, I got it for $9, $9.99 to include shipping and handling. It was, so it was like 10 bucks for everything. I put a bid on eBay and uh, I forgot what I bid, but the, the majority of the cost was shipping and handling. So I was like, yes. It was just a kind of a rock, random act. So I'm gonna go over this, my, my unboxing. If you hear any random noise in the background, those are my cats or my kids. Cause, uh, yeah. so this is the case and uh, I've bought another one of these before. See a cat here and it's pretty much the same thing. Uh, just a different company. My one complaint about these, these types of, I don't know, it, it had the, the, the other one had the same thing as this flimsy, this flimsy, uh, foam that comes with it. I don't. It, it might just be a me thing. I don't really like it. It comes with a, a case, or not a case, but a, uh, uh, and it, uh, it comes with these. I don't even know what to call these, but these, these are a, a keep. A lot of times I'll forget stuff. Or I won't bring things with me. I'll just have the GoPro itself with me. And I have a couple of these in my, in my truck or in my vehicle that I can grab if I don't have a mount I can stick one on on the GoPro and then one on a, a surface and or the uh, opposite opposite side on the surface and it it sticks and it kind of it acts as a, uh, a mount or a, a placement and I just enjoy it I uh I also want to mention this so I finally I love this thing in the other kit that I got it broke because instead it was made for the GoPro but I put my uh, iPhone on there and the uh, the the plastic it was a plastic screw bolt and it broke off so it was, I was, I was really sad about that yeah so it's pretty much everything that it comes with is it's your standard GoPro gear except less expensive with a couple more gadgets it makes recording in your your car so much easier because it adds different angles more of these these I love because I mean like I don't like carrying all this stuff with me so i just stick these whatever extra i have in my car and uh i'm set um so i guess this is a wrist a wrist uh, mount and i i have one i have a better one the one that that came in the the other other kit i think is is better quality like this this will work it doesn't have to be on a wrist i don't know if this is a wrist mount or not but it's it it'll hold your camera this, I don't even know what this is. I have to do some research. And, uh, but the rest of the stuff is the same thing. I, the other kit, I got one of these two. So it's, I have an extra of these, which is awesome. The best, best advice I can give you for anybody who has a GoPro or who attaches it to a mount, just a great idea to screw them in, to have them pre-set, pre-prepared, uh, always this, I like these types of chest harness because they're sturdy, like they sit on your chest. The other ones kind of, they're on your chest, but they, they're not, I don't really like them that well. And this, this is good because you can put it on the chest harness and have more angles or different angles or a steeper angle to move the camera around. This, I mean, I can put this either... I can use this for different things too, besides camera, uh, a camera, but uh, I can put it on my, my metal detector, which I haven't done yet. Very useful. This is, it's an easy, easy mount. This is probably one of the, this is, this is a useful, very useful tool, useful mount, because you can mount it on anything. If I can open it up, there we go. You stick it on anything and it mounts. And it's, that's just awesome. Very useful. Anyway, quick, easy. Nine, ten dollars maybe. Ten dollars 
on eBay. Uh, they have other, I saw other mounts. It's just, I, st I just started bidding on eBay. It's been around for over 10 years probably, but I just started doing it and I, I it's kind of become a addiction. I don't know. Anyway, it's fun. Mainly dig out. One of my uh, favorite features, new favorite features is this. So I've mounted on my, my chest rig and, uh, but it moves so I can adjust it to whatever angle I need. So th this is looking down, the camera's looking down. I can move it left or right and up and down, which is awesome, which is a, a feature I, I didn't have before and uh, could have been useful in, in different situations. So that's that's a decent add-on right there. That's that's something that's something that's useful. First find of the day, and it's a ring. <laughs> Not a ring ring, I wish. So we're back at the KVCC campus, which is the old Good Will Hinckley Farm which I love this place. I just waited to come back here and I had the opportunity and it's, and here I am.